Hey y'all, first pickings from the garden. I'm so excited. Squash, I do can squash as well, but we got three, three squash. First ones, got them out of the garden yesterday, so you have, I've got to fry squash. I've been waiting all winter for fresh vegetables. So, and just a real quick cap on that, let me turn this, we're gonna be getting warm. Very quick, about squash. These, kind of, when they get this fat, see how fat that is? When they get that fat, they really, they have a lot of, they have a lot of seeds in them, so you really don't wanna can those. You need them a little bit smaller than that, or you need the seedless. So, I'm gonna fry these. I'm gonna do that whether they're full of seeds or not. The first pickings of squash out of the garden are gonna get fried every year because I love them. And they are going to be served with either some cornbread or a hoe cake. If you don't know what a hoe cake is, we're gonna have to do a video on that too. I'm gonna have to show you that. But anyway, that's a whole different situation. Um, either cornbread and a hoe cake and preferably some sliced tomato, sliced cucumber, fresh out of the garden. I don't have any yet though. I have little baby cucumbers on there like this, but they're not ready. So anyhow, with these fried ones, you wanna, I always take off this very first layer of tough skin just because you can so fry that and eat it. It's not a big deal but I like to take them off. I like to kind of see the thickness of that, slice them about that thick. And it's just like everything else, y'all. Cooking is meant to be fun and enjoy it. Some people do their squash in a flour. I personally prefer cornmeal. I normally will add just a little bit, like a teaspoon, depending on how much cornmeal I'm using, I'll add just a little bit of, um, my mind went completely blank, y'all, cornstarch, a little bit of cornstarch, and all, but all that does is gives them an extra crispy. Really just some self-rising, either cornmeal or um, flour, whichever is your preference. The difference is gonna be, as you know, the cornmeal is gonna be a little bit grainier, which I personally like that because I love cornbread. If I can get the fresh cornmeal from a, from a crisp meal, I do. Y'all, it don't make no better cornbread than that. So if you ever have an opportunity to visit a crisp meal or if you run up on a store, an old timey store that sells the fresh cornmeal, that's the way to go. Okay, but today, we're gonna fry these up in just some cornmeal, salt, pepper. I tell you what, I have even, depending on the crowd, I have fried these with a little bit of crab bowl in them. That gives them a little extra kick, a little flavor. You can bake them, you know, don't batter them at all. Do them in your air fryer, whatever it is you wanna do. But I have waited all winter for these fresh squash. So I'm going to fry them and have me some sliced tomato. I may not even have a piece of meat I don't know. We'll see what I do. I'm, I may, I, I really don't know. I don't have to have meat with every meal. My husband does, but I don't. I could eat just these vegetables and carry on with sliced tomato. You know, I do need the cornbread to go with them though. So, but probably, I think it's going to just be me and him today. So, I'll probably do what I call a um, cornbread fritter. If you don't know what that is, it's a, it's cornmeal batter, like you're gonna make a pan of cornbread, and you pour a little bit up like a pancake, and you fry it. You don't, again, use grease, use olive oil, whatever you wanna do. Make sure it's not that wood. I'm still dealing with this cutting board issue, y'all. Anyway, I have my cornmeal in a Ziploc bag with my salt and pepper. You see, I put all those in there, shake it about, and I'm gonna fry it. I think my grease is hot. But anyway, the 
the cornbread fritter. I have to do a video on that, I guess, um, one day. All it is, cornbread batter, like you're gonna make a puddle of cornbread. And, should've used a bigger skillet, I think. But anyway, like you're going to make cornbread and um, pour it up in a little round, just a little skillet, and do it like that. Fry it, flip it, and that's cornbread fritter. It's, it's less waste when there's not very many people, you know. So usually when it's just me or two or three of us or whatever, at my house, you never know with the kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews. You don't ever know who's going to pop in. But if it's just us, I'll do a cornbread fritter. Let me get a bigger skillet, y'all. I'll be here all day with that little one. Let's do this one. Well, why can't I have both of them going? Let's just do that. drown them in it you know I just want them to fry and again you can do this in the oven I prefer them so top all right now that they're going and so I was trying to tell y'all the difference what not I'm sorry I got turned around um, cornmeal versus flour. The cornmeal is going to be gritty, you know, like more like a cornbread, and I like that. And the flour is going to give it more of a, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's going to be thicker. It's not going to be gritty like sandy or whatever. But I don't think they stay crispy as long in that flour. I really don't. I prefer them like this. And we're gonna let those fry. See what they look like, y'all? They're bubbling. Aren't those pretty? I'm anxious to see what y'all do with them. You're gonna have to send me some videos. Get in your kitchen. Get in your kitchen. Cook up something, fry up something. <laughs> Whatever your choice is, whatever you like. And send it to me. I want to see what y'all are doing in your kitchen to have fun. Alright. Till next time.